Good morning. It is Friday, January 22nd, 7.46 a.m. And I am waking up, I think. So, last night was nice and warm and comfy, and I slept pretty good. Not super great, not as good as I was hoping, but I still slept really good. It was still nice to get out of the cold. Um, that's the thing about hiking when it's really, really cold out every day is, I mean, after a few days, you're just like craving just some warmth, you know, just a room, a little room with some warmth where you don't have to constantly move and work to keep warm. Yeah, but the great thing, the great thing about doing a northbound is I know for sure the days are going to get longer and they're going to get warmer. And when it starts getting mild and I get to summer, I mean, I'm going to stay out in the woods like all, all the time. But for now, while it's still cold, I'm probably definitely going to take advantage of the hostels when it's really cold and rainy. Because those two combinations, that wet and cold, messes me up. I mean, I got a little head cold just from yesterday. But I am going out today. My buddy Voodoo, um, he, uh, he has that channel, Hikers Lost and Found. So if people find stuff in the trail on Georgia, they um, let him know and, it, and he puts it on Instagram so people can find it. I think that's awesome. But anyways, he's going to pick me up today, take me back to um, mountain crossings. I didn't want to bother Crusoe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get back on. He's going to pick me up around 10. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to do now when I come in. I'm going to take full advantage of the hotel room, try to get in early and try to leave in late instead of, you know, doing the Nero and Zeros. So hopefully that'll work out better. But yeah, I'm going to get back on and I don't know where I'm going. But when I get on the trail, I will get back with y'all. All right.
so I am on Wolf Laurel Top. Man, this is a beautiful spot. So that's the view. And see behind me, camping. I camped here in, um, last year when I was flipping back. I've camped here probably like four times. It is my favorite camping spot in all of Georgia. Yeah, Wolf Laurel Top, man. It's amazing. Yeah, so I got on Trail of Brown shoot like 10 45 really late um voodoo picked me up dropped me off thank you voodoo i appreciate it man voodoo is an awesome dude um check out his instagram channel um hiker lost and found it's a really good instagram um channel so anyways um i've been when i've been hiking and i could feel like that like that pressure on my front pad on my left foot I felt it a little bit this morning in the hotel room and I felt it when I started hiking, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. And it's like, it's this isolated little spot and it's like on the front pad towards kind of the middle. And um, I just can't help but think maybe it's a hairline fracture. I've never had feet problems, except I got um, Achilles tendonitis because I started wearing ultras with the zero drop and it messed me up. Other than that, my feet and ankles never have problems, so I don't know, man. It's a little worrisome, and I, it's just like right off the bat, man. I was hoping it would just go away, so I don't know what's up with that, but I guess I'll just deal with it. So anyways, I'm going to keep on hiking northbound, and I will get back with y'all. All right. So I am on top of Wildcat Mountain. Man, this climb out of Tennessee Gap, I think it's Tennessee Gap, something like that. It's only like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, but it is steep, steep. It's all switchbacks, but it's just really steep, really short switchbacks. So that spot on my foot when I was hiking um, up Cow Rock Mountain, man, I started feeling it. Every time I lift off, I can feel this exact little spot and it's, so 
So I took my shoe off and if I poke it, I feel it. it's just this little spot. So I started hiking kind of inside with my inside foot. And now my arch is all stretched out, hurting. So I was like, I don't know. The problem is, is from Hogpen Gap to Unicorn Gap, there's nowhere to get off. And if this gets worse, I don't want to be stuck in there. And the truth is, I got to stop anyways. I mean, I'm going to have to stop. It's super early because I just don't want to press it. I don't want to make it worse. I have a feeling it might be like a hairline fracture maybe. I don't know. But um, so I called Crusoe again and he said he'll come and get me. Um, so I think I'm thinking I might just get off at Hogpen Gap again and um, get it checked out. Because I just don't, I mean, I don't know what's going on. It's like I've never had foot problems ever. And I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just frustrating. That's all. I hope, I don't know. I'm hoping it's nothing bad. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep on hiking and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey, y'all. So I made it to Blairsville. Um, my buddy Crusoe picked me up. Thanks, Crusoe. Yeah, but look, look at the weather. This is the nicest day it's been since I've been out. Man, this is, I could be making mad miles today. I mean, it's not even that cold at all. It's sunny, it's a little bit windy, but I mean breezy, but not windy. Man, man, man. Um, I hate, dude, I hate taking zeros on days like this. Or not zeros, but you know, not hiking. Anyways, I'm just frustrated. I'm just really frustrated. I'm probably not going to record anymore. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to stay positive, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, man, <laughs> so much stuff has been going on lately. Well, we will see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rest and ice it and... If I'm still filming it in the morning, there is a walk-in clinic with an imaging center, like when walking distance, and I'm just gonna go there in the morning if it still hurts, and I'll take it from there. But I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.